Do you ever feel like you're not as good as you should be? Like you're always not meeting goals, even your own? Don't worry, a lot of us feel that way sometimes. Today, we're going to chat about something important, not seeing our own worth. And we'll get some great advice from Marcus Aurelius, a really wise person from history. So, get ready for a journey of self-discovery, and let's get started. Imagine this. You're standing in front of a mirror, looking at your own reflection. But what you see isn't the real you. Instead, you see a version of yourself that's less than what you truly are. This is what happens when you undervalue yourself. But how can you tell if you're doing this? It's not always easy to recognize. Sometimes, it's like a quiet voice in the back of your mind, whispering that you're not good enough, that you're not living up to expectations. This is a common experience for many of us. We often undervalue ourselves without even realizing it. But the first step to overcoming this is awareness. We need to recognize the signs that we're undervaluing ourselves. Today we're going to explore these signs. We're going to delve into 15 indicators that might suggest you're undervaluing yourself. These signs are like pieces of a puzzle, each one revealing a part of the bigger picture. As we journey through these signs, remember this. Recognizing that you're undervaluing yourself is the first step towards change. It's the first step towards reclaiming your self-worth and embracing your true potential. Before we dive deeper, here's a thought. If you're finding value in this content and want to journey with us through more enlightening discussions, consider subscribing to our channel and joining our membership. Your support not only fuels our work, but also opens up a world of exclusive content and benefits. Together, let's create a community that inspires growth and self-discovery together. 1. You constantly compare yourself to others. This is something that happens to a lot of us. We look around, see others, and start to feel like we're not as good. This feeling can be really strong, and it can make us feel bad about ourselves. Remember Marcus Aurelius once said, comparison is the thief of joy. This means that when we compare ourselves to others, we often forget to appreciate what we have. We focus on what we don't have, and this makes us unhappy. But here's the thing, you are special. There's no one else in the world who is exactly like you. You have your own strengths, your own talents, and your own experiences. These things make you who you are, and they're something to be proud of. And remember, your life is different from everyone else's. We all have our own paths to follow. Some people might seem like they're ahead of you, and some people might seem like they're behind. But the truth is, we're all just going at our own pace. So instead of comparing yourself to others, try to focus on your own journey. Celebrate your own achievements, no matter how small they might seem. And most importantly, remember to be kind to yourself. You're doing the best you can, and that's all that matters. So the next time you find yourself comparing to others, remember Marcus Aurelius's words. Remember that you are unique, and your journey is yours alone. Embrace it, cherish it, and most importantly, enjoy it because at the end of the day, your life is a beautiful story and it's one that's worth telling. Two, you downplay your achievements. This is something that many of us do. We work hard, we reach our goals, but when it's time to celebrate, we often brush it off as no big deal. But here's the thing, it is a big deal. Every goal you reach, every milestone you hit, is a testament to your hard work, your dedication, and your perseverance. You've accomplished so much, and it's time to give yourself some credit. It's time to acknowledge your achievements and be proud of them. It's time to celebrate your successes, no matter how small they may seem. Because every success, every achievement, is a step forward on your journey. And each step 
no matter how small, is worth celebrating. So don't downplay your achievements. Don't brush them off as no big deal. Instead, celebrate them. Be proud of them. Give yourself the credit you deserve because you've worked hard for these achievements and you should be proud of what you've accomplished. Remember, your achievements are a reflection of your hard work and dedication. They're a testament to your ability to set goals and reach them. So don't downplay them. Instead, celebrate them. Be proud of them. And most importantly, give yourself the credit you deserve. Because you are amazing and your achievements are proof of that. So the next time you achieve something, don't brush it off as no big deal. Instead, take a moment to celebrate. Take a moment to be proud of yourself because you are amazing and your achievements are something to be proud of. And remember, every step forward, no matter how small, is a step towards your goals. So keep going, keep achieving and keep being the amazing person you are because you are capable of great things and your achievements are just the beginning. So here's to you and here's to all the amazing things you're going to achieve. Keep going, keep growing and keep being you because you are amazing and your journey is just beginning. Three, you settle for less. This is a trap that many of us fall into whether it's in relationships, careers, or personal goals, we often settle for less than we deserve. We accept less than we're worth, and we convince ourselves that it's okay. But here's the truth, it's not okay. You deserve more. You deserve to be happy, to be fulfilled, to be valued. In relationships, you deserve someone who treats you with respect and kindness, someone who values you for who you are, and who supports you in your journey. You deserve a relationship that brings you joy, not one that brings you down. In your career, you deserve to do something that you love. You deserve to be in a job where your skills are recognized and appreciated. You deserve to be in a workplace where you're treated with respect and fairness. And when it comes to your personal goals, you deserve to reach for the stars. You deserve to dream big, and to pursue those dreams with all your heart. You deserve to achieve your goals, no matter how big or small they may be. So don't settle for less. Don't convince yourself that you're not worth it because you are. You are worth more than you think, and you deserve more than you give yourself credit for. Remember, settling for less is not a reflection of your worth, but a reflection of your self-perception. So, change the way you see yourself, recognize your worth, and don't settle for anything less. Because you are amazing, and you deserve to be treated as such. So, here's to you, and here's to not settling for less. Here's to recognizing your worth, and to pursuing what you truly deserve. Because you are amazing, and you deserve nothing but the best. So, don't settle for less because you deserve so much more. 4. You're always saying yes. This is a common struggle for many of us. We often find it hard to say no, even when we're already overwhelmed with commitments. We take on more than we can handle, and we end up stretching ourselves too thin. But here's the thing, it's okay to say no. It's okay to prioritize your needs. Saying yes to everything is not a sign of strength or capability. Instead, it's a sign that you're not setting boundaries for yourself. It's a sign that you're not prioritizing your own needs and well-being. And in the long run, this can lead to burnout, stress and dissatisfaction. Remember, you are not obligated to say yes to everything. You have the right to prioritize your own needs and well-being. You have the right to set boundaries and to say no when you need to. And most importantly, you have the right to take care of yourself. So don't be afraid to say no. Don't be afraid to prioritize your needs because you are important and your needs matter. And remember, saying no to something means saying yes to something else, 
It means saying yes to your own well-being. It means saying yes to your own happiness. And that's something worth saying yes to. So the next time you find yourself overwhelmed with commitments, remember that it's okay to say no. It's okay to prioritize your needs because you are important and you deserve to take care of yourself. So here's to saying no, to setting boundaries, and to taking care of yourself, because you are amazing and you deserve to be happy. 5. You're a perfectionist. This is a trait that many of us share. We strive for perfection in everything we do. We're never satisfied with our work because we think it's never good enough. But here's the thing, perfection is an illusion. It's an unattainable standard that we set for ourselves and it can often lead to stress, burnout and dissatisfaction. Being a perfectionist means that you have high standards for yourself and that's not necessarily a bad thing. It means that you're dedicated, hardworking and committed to excellence. But when your pursuit of perfection starts to interfere with your happiness and well-being, it's time to reassess. Remember, it's okay to strive for excellence, but it's also okay to accept that perfection is an illusion. No one is perfect and no one is expected to be. We all make mistakes and we all have room for improvement. And that's okay. It's part of being human. So instead of striving for perfection, Strive for progress, strive for growth, strive for improvement, celebrate your achievements no matter how small they may seem, learn from your mistakes and use them as stepping stones towards your goals. And most importantly, remember to be kind to yourself. You're doing the best you can and that's all anyone can ask for. So don't beat yourself up over your perceived imperfections. Instead, embrace them. They're what make you unique. They're what make you human. So the next time you find yourself striving for perfection, remember that it's an illusion. Instead, strive for progress. Strive for growth. And most importantly, strive for happiness. Because at the end of the day, your happiness and well-being are what truly matter. Six, you feel guilty for taking care of yourself. This is a feeling that many of us can relate to. We live in a society that often equates self-care with selfishness, and as a result, we feel guilty for prioritizing our own needs. But here's the truth. Self-care is not selfish. It's necessary for your well-being. Taking care of yourself is not a luxury, it's a necessity. It's about recognizing your own needs and taking steps to meet them. It's about setting boundaries and making time for activities that nourish you both physically and emotionally. It's about treating yourself with the same kindness and respect that you extend to others. When you take care of yourself, you're not only improving your own well-being, but you're also improving your ability to care for others. You can't pour from an empty cup, as the saying goes, by taking care of yourself you're ensuring that you have the energy and resources to be there for the people you care about. So don't feel guilty for taking care of yourself. Don't let societal pressures make you feel like you're being selfish. Because the truth is self-care is the furthest thing from selfish. It's a necessary part of maintaining your health and well-being. Remember, you are important. Your needs are important and taking care of yourself is not only okay, it's necessary. So the next time you feel guilty for practicing self-care, remember this, you are worth taking care of, your well-being matters. And practicing self-care is not a sign of selfishness, but a sign of self-respect. Seven, you're always apologizing. This is a habit that many of us have, we often say sorry, even when it's not our fault. We take on the blame for things that are out of our control. But here's the truth. Not everything is your responsibility. It's easy to fall into the trap of over-apologizing. We do it to avoid conflict, to keep the peace, or simply because we're uncomfortable with the idea of disappointing others. 
but when we constantly apologize, we're sending a message that our feelings, our opinions, and our needs are less important than those of others. And that's simply not true. You have a right to your feelings. You have a right to your opinions. And you have a right to your needs. You don't have to apologize for being who you are. And you certainly don't have to apologize for things that are beyond your control. Remember, saying sorry when it's not your fault is not a sign of politeness. It's a sign of diminishing your self-worth. It's a sign of taking on responsibilities that aren't yours to bear. And it's a sign of not standing up for yourself. So the next time you find yourself about to apologize, take a moment to ask yourself, is this really my fault? Am I taking on blame that isn't mine to bear? Am I diminishing my self-worth by apologizing for being who I am? If the answer is yes, then it's time to stop apologizing. It's time to start standing up for yourself. It's time to start recognizing your worth and to start realizing that not everything is your responsibility. So here's to you and here's to not apologizing for things that aren't your fault. Here's to recognizing your worth and to realizing that not everything is your responsibility because you are amazing and you deserve to be treated as such. 8. You feel uncomfortable when praised. This is something that many of us experience. We often find it hard to accept compliments and we tend to deflect them. But here's the truth. You deserve to be praised. You deserve to be recognized for your achievements, your talents and your strengths. It's easy to brush off compliments, to downplay our achievements, to feel like we're not worthy of praise. But when we do this, we're not only denying ourselves the recognition we deserve, but we're also denying others the opportunity to express their admiration and appreciation for us. Accepting compliments is not about being arrogant or conceited. It's about acknowledging your worth and allowing others to acknowledge it too. It's about recognizing your strengths and your achievements and allowing yourself to feel proud of them. So the next time someone compliments you, try not to deflect it. Instead, accept it graciously. Say, thank you. Allow yourself to feel proud because you are worthy of praise and you deserve to feel good about yourself. Remember, accepting compliments is not a sign of arrogance, but a sign of self-respect. It's a sign of acknowledging your worth and allowing others to acknowledge it too. So don't shy away from compliments. Embrace them because you are amazing and you deserve to be recognized as such. So here's to you and here's to accepting compliments. Here's to recognizing your worth and to allowing others to recognize it too because you are amazing and you deserve to be praised. 9. You're constantly worried about what others think of you. This is a common concern that many of us have. We often find ourselves consumed by the opinions of others, allowing their thoughts and judgments to dictate our actions and self-worth. But as the wise Marcus Aurelius once said, it never ceases to amaze me. We all love ourselves more than other people, but care more about their opinion than our own. This quote is a powerful reminder of the paradox that exists within us. We value ourselves above all else, yet we allow the opinions of others to hold more weight than our own. This can lead to a cycle of self-doubt and insecurity as we constantly seek validation from others. But here's the truth. The only opinion that truly matters is your own. You are the one who lives your life, who knows your worth, who understands your journey. You are the one who faces your challenges, who celebrates your victories, who learns from your mistakes. Therefore, you should be the one to define your worth, not others. It's natural to care about what others think, but it's important to not let their opinions overshadow your own. Their opinions are based on their perceptions and experiences, not yours. They don't know your journey, your struggles, your strengths, your values. Only you do. 
So the next time you find yourself worrying about what others think of you, remember Marcus Aurelius's words. Remember that you love yourself more than anyone else, and therefore, your opinion should hold the most weight. Remember that you are unique, that your journey is your own, and that you are the one who defines your worth. So here's to you, and here's to valuing your own opinion above all else. Here's to recognizing your worth, and to defining it for yourself, because you are amazing, and you deserve to see yourself as such. So keep going, keep growing, and keep being you, because you are amazing, and your journey is just beginning. 10. You neglect your needs. This is a common tendency among many of us, especially those who are naturally caring and nurturing. We often put others first, prioritizing their needs over our own. But while this can be a noble trait, it's important to remember that your own needs are just as important. It's easy to get caught up in the cycle of taking care of others. We often feel a sense of responsibility towards our loved ones, and we want to do everything we can to support them. But in doing so, we often neglect our own needs. We sacrifice our own well-being for the sake of others. But here's the truth. You can't pour from an empty cup. You can't effectively take care of others if you're not taking care of yourself. Your needs are important. Your well-being is important. And it's not only okay to prioritize these things. It's necessary. Self-care is not selfish. It's a crucial part of maintaining your physical, emotional, and mental health. It's about respecting your own needs and taking the time to replenish your energy. It's about setting boundaries and ensuring that you're not overextending yourself. So the next time you find yourself neglecting your needs for the sake of others, remember this, you matter, your needs matter, and taking care of yourself is not a sign of selfishness, but a sign of self-respect. So here's to you, and here's to prioritizing your needs. Here's to recognizing your worth and taking the time to care for yourself, because you are amazing and you deserve to be taken care of. 11. You feel undeserving of happiness. This is a feeling that many of us struggle with. We often carry around a belief that we don't deserve to be happy or successful. But here's the truth. This belief is not true. It's easy to fall into the trap of self-doubt and self-criticism. We often judge ourselves harshly, focusing on our flaws and failures rather than our strengths and achievements. We convince ourselves that we're not good enough, not smart enough, not talented enough to deserve happiness or success. But these are just negative thoughts, not facts. The fact is, you are deserving of happiness. You are deserving of success. You are deserving of all the good things life has to offer. And it's not because of anything you've done or haven't done. It's simply because you are a human being and every human being has intrinsic worth. Your worth is not determined by your achievements, your failures, your strengths or your weaknesses. Your worth is inherent, it's part of who you are, and nothing can take that away from you. So the next time you find yourself feeling undeserving of happiness, remember this. You are worthy, you are deserving, and it's okay to allow yourself to be happy, it's okay to allow yourself to be successful, because you are amazing just as you are. So here's to you, and here's to believing in your worth. Here's to allowing yourself to be happy, to be successful, to be all that you can be, because you are deserving and your journey is just beginning. 12. You're overly critical of yourself. This is a common struggle for many of us. We often become our own worst critics, scrutinizing every mistake and dwelling on every flaw. But here's the truth. It's important to treat yourself with kindness and understanding. Being overly critical of yourself can lead to a cycle of self-doubt and negativity. It can make you feel like you're never good enough, no matter how hard you try. But this kind of self-criticism is not only harmful, 
It's also unproductive. It doesn't help you grow or improve. Instead, it only serves to bring you down. Remember, nobody is perfect. We all have our strengths and weaknesses. We all make mistakes. And that's okay. Mistakes are not failures. They're opportunities to learn and grow. They're stepping stones on the path to success. So instead of being overly critical of yourself, try to be more understanding. Recognize that you're doing the best you can. Acknowledge your efforts and celebrate your progress, no matter how small. And most importantly, be kind to yourself. Treat yourself with the same kindness and understanding that you would extend to a friend. Being your own worst critic can be a hard habit to break. But with time and practice, you can learn to be more understanding and compassionate towards yourself. You can learn to see your mistakes not as failures, but as opportunities for growth. And you can learn to celebrate your strengths rather than dwelling on your weaknesses. So, here's to you. And here's to being kind to yourself. Here's to recognizing your worth and to treating yourself with understanding and compassion. 13. You feel like an imposter. This is a feeling that many of us can relate to. Despite our accomplishments and successes, we often feel like we're not truly deserving of them. We feel like a fraud, like we've somehow tricked others into believing we're more competent or talented than we actually are. This is a phenomenon known as imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome can be incredibly debilitating. It can make us doubt our abilities and achievements, and it can prevent us from taking on new challenges or opportunities. But here's the truth. You are not an imposter. Your accomplishments are not a result of luck or deceit. They are a testament to your hard work, your skills, and your dedication. It's easy to focus on our mistakes and failures and to overlook our successes. But every success, no matter how small, is a sign of your abilities and your potential. You are capable, you are deserving, and you are not an imposter. Remember, everyone makes mistakes. Everyone experiences failures. But these do not define you. They do not make you an imposter. They make you human. And being human means being imperfect. It means learning, growing, and striving to be better. So the next time you feel like an imposter, remember this. You are deserving of your successes. You are capable of achieving your goals. And you are not an imposter. You are simply human, and that's something to be proud of. So here's to you, and here's to overcoming imposter syndrome. Here's to recognizing your worth, and to celebrating your successes. 14. You're afraid to express your true feelings. This is a common fear that many of us share. We often suppress our emotions because we're afraid of how others will react. We're afraid of being judged, misunderstood, or rejected. But here's the truth. Your feelings are valid. Your emotions are a part of who you are, and you have every right to express them. It's easy to bottle up our emotions to put on a brave face and pretend that everything is fine. But doing so can be harmful to our mental and emotional health. It can lead to feelings of isolation, stress, and unhappiness. It can prevent us from forming authentic and meaningful connections with others. Remember, it's okay to feel. It's okay to be sad, to be angry, to be scared. It's okay to feel joy, to feel love, to feel excitement. These emotions are a part of the human experience. They're what make us human. And it's okay to express these emotions. It's okay to let others know how you're feeling. Because your feelings matter, your emotions matter, and you matter. So the next time you find yourself suppressing your emotions, remember this. You are not alone. You are not wrong for having feelings and you are not wrong for wanting to express them. You are a human being with a right to feel and express your emotions. So here's to you, and here's to expressing your true feelings. Here's to embracing your emotions and to letting go of the fear of judgment.
15. You don't invest in yourself. This is a common issue that many of us face. We often neglect to invest time and resources in ourselves, focusing instead on external responsibilities and commitments. But as Marcus Aurelius, the great Stoic philosopher, believed, there is immense power in continuous learning and self-improvement. It's easy to get caught up in the hustle and bustle of life, to prioritize other people's needs over our own, to put our personal growth on the back burner. But by doing so, we're undervaluing our potential. We're neglecting the opportunity to become the best version of ourselves. Investing in yourself is not a selfish act. It's an acknowledgement of your worth and potential. It's a commitment to your personal growth and well-being. It's about taking the time to learn new skills, to nurture your passions, to take care of your physical and mental health. Remember, you are your most valuable asset. Your skills, your knowledge, your health, your happiness. These are the things that truly matter and they're worth investing in. So don't undervalue your potential. Don't neglect to invest in yourself. Take the time to learn, to grow, to improve, because you are worth it. You have immense potential and it's time to unleash it. As Marcus Aurelius once said, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. So fill your mind with knowledge, nurture your skills, take care of your health, invest in yourself because you deserve to be the best version of yourself. So here's to you and here's to investing in yourself. Here's to recognizing your worth and unleashing your potential. So keep going, keep growing and keep investing in yourself. Conclusion. Remember, recognizing your worth is the first step towards self-improvement. As Marcus Aurelius once said, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. So, start valuing yourself more because you are a diamond and it's time to shine. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe. And remember, you are valuable, you are worthy and you are capable of achieving great things. Until next time, Keep shining and stay stoic.